Yes, 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 let's give thanks and praise. I am your host, the Mad Lion. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And always, boom, I'm back. Hey, we got a lot to talk about today. <laughs> but what but what does it really talk about which we already know what's supposed to happen anyway? And it's really up to us to really understand our true place in this world as African. I'm just strictly talking about that because until we find find self worth in ourselves and each other, we will never get back to where we're supposed to be. So before I get started on that, let's let's do what we always do. Well, I get thanks and praise to the Father. So let's go to Old Testament Proverbs again. We're going to stay in Proverbs chapter 2. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands, turning your ear to wisdom, inclining your heart to understanding. Yes, if you call to intelligence and do understanding, rise your, raise your voice. If you seek her like silver and like hidden treasures, search her out. Then will you understand the fear of the Lord. The knowledge of Jah will find, for the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He has counsel in the store for the upright. He is the shield for those who walk honestly. Guarding the path of justice, protecting the way of his poorest, pious ones. Then you will understand justice. Rastafari, give thanks and praise. Seek, seek the Father out, seek out his wisdom, and you will overstand, and you will find peace. But, again, you have to overstand, you got to make, you got to make up your mind on what side of sense you're going, are you looking for? Are you looking on the side of man, or are you looking on the side of God? Because you already know what man said is legal, and we know what God said is legal. So, that's what I stand upon. I don't stand upon what um, Babylon and his, his soldiers are saying. That's what I do. But, Job blessing, John's guy. I got a good show for you. Let's do this. Yes, yes, I'm back. I'm back. Hope you've been enjoying the show. I'm the Mad Lion, CeeloJula.com. We're forever moving forward, ever striving to greatness. I'm back. As you already know, around the world, there's been, you know, a shockwave, but it's not surprised that here in the states of Babylon, you know, that it's now official that, you know, um, man law said that homosexual, whatever the case may be, they can marry. Now, we already know as far as you when you read the, um, you read the, um, I guess when the forefather came here and everything else, and their ideology that this land was given to the father and, and they put a father and followed his laws, his commandments, and so on, so forth and so forth, all right? Now we're here now, right? Um, the 4th of July already passed and everything, everybody celebrating, but, but what are you really celebrating? For for me, it's, it's there's, there's no celebration. For you, it should not be no celebration if you consider yourself an African. As as pers as perverse as the society has been, been coming more and more and more is dragging us down as well. And you have to understand your, your self worth. You got to follow the laws of God. You know, for those who realize this is wrong, for whatever the case may be, you 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 now go have to fight for another. You now fight another entity that. To stay separated. You do what you want to do. That's fine. That's your business. But when you try to say the same as I, we have a problem. When you try to say that your cause is just like the Africans' cause, we have a problem with it. Your cause is a cause basically to basically to to act a certain way, to have a certain behavior, and, and deem it as normal. 
my struggle is basically being basically considered a human being even before you even before me even before even y'all even consider my cause my struggle is basically basically a simple right as being a human being because for us we were considered property so your your struggle got nothing to do with us and you have to understand my people that that is what the whole basis of it is you know what your struggle is you know do not get distracted about by by anybody else to struggle, cause you know yours is everlasting, ever, 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 ever until we decide to stand up and truly fight. Cause there ain't no protesting; it's not gonna do anything. They gonna continue to do what they wanna do. I am an optimistic. I'm I'm very optimistic, Brethren. I really am. But as more and more as I read and I, as, as I reflect and I watch and I'm listening and everything else. More and more, it, it, it boiled down to the point that we're going to really have to get ready to fight on the physical plane. We've been fighting on the spiritual plane. We've been fighting on the mental plane. And this last episode, what Babylon has done, basically now is it, 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 it is a psychological warfare as well. So now you got to teach your kids. Basically, you got to raise your kids. You got to teach them to follow God. And follow his commandments, and don't follow man law. Follow man law is only only gonna drive you down further down the line. So don't do it. I'm gonna keep it short and brief because I do have a lot to say. But it was a good show, a lot of good vibes. I'm gonna keep it like that. But basically, bottom line is as simple as this: you were slaves in 1776. As far as um, the Supreme Court saying it's legal for them to get married, have nothing to do with you. If someone trying to come to you and tell you their cause is like your cause, you need to get offended. You need to get upset. So, let's understand what's going on. Distractions. We know what the final goal is. The final goal is to get out of this country the best way we can, one way or another. Because... It's very yes. Our forefather helped build this, this this country. Yes, it was built off of slave slave labor. I get that. I am with you. I understand that. But sometimes you gotta let what build fall. Sometimes you gotta let that go and build a new somewhere else. Because as long as we stay here, we're gonna always be in a, in a constant state of of resistance. Always be in a constant state of we have to defend ourselves. Cause that's where the state we are in now, but Jah will, Jah will provide, Jah will guide. If we listen, truly listen, and understand His words, He will pull, He will pull us out of this. Just like in Egypt, He delivered us then, He will deliver us now. Sololjuda.com. Thank you for watching Sololjuda.com, the best of reggae, dancehall, hip hop, and world music. Spreading positive music throughout the universe that nourishes your mind. Remember to please like and share our videos. We appreciate donations of any amount you'd like to contribute. $3, $5, $10, $20, or any amount you like. Donations help us keep the station going. We accept donations via GoFundMe and PayPal. Links are available in the description. Thank you and God bless.